Thor Love and Thunder will be released in theaters on July 8, 2022. Fans have not yet had the chance to watch a trailer, which is beginning to seem somewhat suspicious given that the movie will be released in about three months. Of all things, an image taken from a Spanish tweet is now said to reveal the date of the first trailer. A report from comicbook.com remarks that the fingers of the stars pictured make 11, 4 and 22 from left to right. If that's what Taika Waititi, Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson had in mind, we can expect the trailer to be released very soon on Monday, April 11th. Whether this is indeed the case is something you will soon be able to find out for yourself. Fans of The Witcher were happy to get an announcement about the third season this week. As the official Twitter account revealed based on two pictures, the production is well underway. One image shows the filming set in a snowy location, while the other one presents the first official synopsis of this season. Geralt will get into dangerous ground to protect Ciri and his reunited family. Joining him is Yennefer, who's tasked with Ciri's magical training and therefore accompanies her to the Fortress of Aretuza, which we already know from the two existing seasons. As we are used to from the books, the topics of betrayal, corruption and scheming will also be of great importance. Returning in front of the camera are Henry Cavill as The Witcher Geralt, Anya Kalatra as Yennefer and Freya Allen as Ciri. Unfortunately, there is no official launch date yet, but a release prior to the end of next year seems extremely unrealistic. Due to movies like We Need to Talk About Kevin and Fantastic Beasts, Ezra Miller became the Hollywood star he is today. In the past, though, Miller rarely stood out for positive publicity. There were recurring issues related to drugs and drinking, and he was considered an extremely difficult individual to deal with behind the scenes. This was also evident from several escapades to which Miller allowed himself in the past. In April 2020, a video circulated showing the 29-year-old assaulting a woman, which already caused some controversy at the time when Johnny Depp was being dismissed. Nevertheless, he was allowed to stay on both Fantastic Beasts and The Flash, surely also because an exclusion from one would have meant an exclusion from all other Warner projects. But when Miller was then arrested on March 28, 2022, following an altercation with a man and a woman, and even went so far as to threaten the couple after his release, it seems that, for Warner, this was the last straw that broke the camel's back. As Rolling Stone reports, Warner decided on how to proceed in an emergency meeting, which resulted in putting all projects with Miller on hold. For the studio, this is a great solution because it allows them to wait and see how much The Flash brings in at the box office. Nonetheless, Miller's expulsion could have far-reaching impact on the rest of the DCU, since the film like Spider-Man No Way Home in the MCU serves to open up a multiverse. Particularly awkward is the fact that The Flash and Miller's performance are said to have been very well received in test screenings. Fans show little sympathy following the accusation against the actor and demand a replacement by Grant Gust in this of the Flash series. Well, in any case, we are eager to see what Ezra Miller's future at Warner Brothers will look like. The Flash is expected to run in theaters from June 23, 2023. Last year, the South Korean Netflix series Squid Game suddenly became one of the most popular and successful series of all time. After the relatively open end of Season 1, Squid Game creator Hwang Dong-hyuk shared his thoughts on the planned start of the new season in an interview at the annual MIP TV in Cannes. Thus, the new season is expected to begin at the end of 2024, if everything works out as planned. He has already completed the first pages of the script and is currently in the middle of the creative period of the screenplay. Along the way, he's also working on Killing Old People Club, his new movie which is supposed to live up to its name with boundless brutality that reportedly exceeds even that of Squid Game. Naturally, not much is known about the plot of the new Squid Game season yet, but in this regard, we can recommend our Squid Game original, where we introduce you to the most exciting possibilities. We will gladly keep you up to date on further news about the next season. In recent days, there has been a lot of speculation surrounding the production of the third season of The Mandalorian, as a set employee posted a picture via Instagram announcing the end of shooting. When the post was deleted shortly thereafter, it only further fueled the rumors about the conclusion. Meanwhile, though, it has become official as grief cargo actor Carl Weathers finally shared an image on Twitter that confirmed the fans' speculations. 
Still unclear, however, are the exact cast and plot of Season 3. Known are the aforementioned Weathers, Giancarlo Esposito as Moff Gideon, and of course Pedro Pascal as the eponymous Mandalorian. The sole known newcomer is Back to the Future star Christopher Lloyd, as we already reported two weeks ago. Sadly, it is not yet confirmed as to when we can expect the new season to launch on Disney+. Plus. The situation is different for the upcoming Obi-Wan Kenobi series, which is scheduled for release at the end of May. As as Ewan McGregor announced in a recent statement, however, the series will not be released on May 25th as previously planned, but two days later on May 27th on Disney+. Many fans are particularly excited about the confirmed appearance of Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker, who has not been featured in this role since Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith back in 2005. Most recently, a supposed leak made the rounds on Reddit, allegedly showing secret footage of a duel between Bobby Wan and his former Padawan Anakin. The fact that the video was leaked on April 1st doesn't really speak for the authenticity of the short clip, yet the footage looks surprisingly realistic. One clue in favor of authenticity is at least Darth Vader's outfit, which is identical to the official Image and Entertainment Weekly published on March 10th, and even in other respects, it would probably have to be a very elaborate fake. What do you guys think? Is the video real or is it a clear fake in your opinion? Let us know in the comments. Either way, you will be able to watch the first two episodes of the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series on Disney Plus starting May 27th, 2022. A veritable Sherlock Holmes hype dominated film and television between 2009 and 2017. First, there was the famous series starring Benedict Cumberbatch that ran from 2010 to 2017, and second, the two movies starring Robert Downey Jr. in the role of the Master Detective were released in 2009 and 2011. As Variety now reports, Downey Jr. and his wife Susan are working with HBO Max on two series at once. Both spin-off series are set to introduce a new character and function independent of Downey Jr.'s Holmes and Jude Law's Watson. As of yet, there is no additional info on the two series. All that is known is that the characters appearing in the series will make their first appearance in a third Sherlock Holmes movie starring Robert Downey Jr. The latter was supposed to have been released in movie theaters in 2020, but was then postponed and eventually shelved. But now, with a new announcement of the two spin-offs, we are glad to see that things are moving forward again regarding the third Sherlock Holmes film. The upcoming Sherlock Holmes project do not not have any release dates yet. Star Trek Picard showrunner Terry Metalis recently announced in a press release that the upcoming third season of the series will be the final one. Moreover, there was the big news of a reunion of familiar faces from Star Trek The Next Generation. Thus, all the important characters from the series, which started in 1987, are expected to return, including in addition to Patrick Stewart, Leva Burton as Jodie LaForge, Michael Dorn as Worf, Jonathan Frakes as Commander Riker, Gates McFadden as Dr. Crusher, Marina Sirtis as Diana Troy, and Brand Spiner as the Android Data. Some of the actors already made the one or other appearance in Season 1 and 2 of Star Trek Picard, but now they are actually all supposed to get back together. We are excited about further details and look forward to the third season, which unfortunately does not have a fixed release date yet. We hope you enjoyed our video on this week's news. If interested, we highly suggest you watch the new trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness on our channel as the movie is about to hit theaters soon on May 6th. Wish you a lovely weekend. See you next week.